back to my channel today I'm here with a new video and today we will be trying out the new reformulated Dior forever natural velvet powder foundation this is what the packaging looks like sorry about the handprints on it um, I believe this has just been reformulated with more cleaner ingredients but before we get started if it is your first time watching please hit the subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber don't forget to hit the like it retails for $60 it is available in 16 shades it is transfer proof 24 hour wear high coverage it is also refilling oh, this powder foundation there's only 16 shades which is not a lot of shades but in the original i don't even think there were 16 shades and i do have the original right here next to me pretty much looks the same as the original it's just at the bottom part of the newer one it does have this little silver detail and it has the cd logo right there them up side by side then you kind of see the difference in the original you only get nine grams of powder and also in the newer one you get 10 so you get a gram more of powder and in the compact it is a mirror of course i cannot show you guys and it also comes with the sponge to apply the foundation so um i'm gonna go in with the powder like i normally would apply a powder foundation and then we'll see how it looks and then i'll give you all of course my thoughts on it and also in this powder i did pick up the shade 5n if i did not mention that is the typical shade that i wear in all of dior complexion products I'm back and this is what my face looks like with the powder foundation on first off I don't know if it's coming across on camera but in person this looks very orange it almost looks like I have some type of bronzer all over my face when I first start applying the powder I was like okay this is looking kind of orange but I wasn't sure so I actually got up and looked in natural lighting and yeah this definitely looks a lot orange um which I'm kind of surprised about just because in the original um Dior powder 5N is well it's not 5N it's actually 070 is a perfect shade for me like it's spot on I can use this to apply it straight on like how I did today and I also can use this to set a liquid foundation this I would not set a liquid foundation with this because I feel like it would definitely change the color of it it definitely will make whatever you wear a lot more orangey if it is not of that this does have very nice coverage which I expected it to just because the original does. I look very poreless and I look very matte in person. Also, the texture of this is very buttery. It is very smooth. But anyway, um, of course, I will wear this all day and then I will come back and give you all my final thoughts because I actually have a lot of thoughts right now, but I'll just save it for later when I do a full day wear test. So I'll see y'all in a few. Okay, y'all, I'm back after having this powder foundation on for a little over seven hours. And this is what my face looks like. As you see, it actually held up pretty nicely. Y'all know I am extremely oily. And today it was very hot. And I feel like this pretty much held up, which I knew it was going to be very long lasting and able to withstand the heat just because I do wear the original a lot. And I know um, how it performs. Now, as far as the shade, I don't like it. When I first left out, I felt like I looked very orange. Right now, it doesn't look as orange as it did earlier. I would say if you used me as a shade reference, I probably would go with the shade before this, which is 4N, especially if you want to use it to set a liquid foundation. I wouldn't use this shade 5N or possibly use 6N. I don't know. You probably would have to see them in person. Earlier um, this year, Dior reformulated um, their Forever Matte Foundation. And typically in Dior foundations, I wear the shade 5N and the newer one. That one pulls a lot orange. It's just not what it used to be. Like they definitely got the undertone wrong with this one because this is definitely not neutral. But outside of that, I really like the way it looks. It looks very flawless. It also looks very skin-like. This is lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy. And also, this does not transfer. So that is another plus. In comparison to the original, I will say the formula 
hasn't changed this is still a very matte powder that is very lightweight on the skin it is super long lasting as you see this doesn't look too bad after having this on almost eight hours today and it is very hot so the formula is the same um, way undertone in the shade 5n is completely off again if you use me as a shade reference and you typically wear the same shade 5n i would not pick up 5n in this powder i will go with 4n or 6n or better yet, I would even go in store and maybe swatch them and play around with the shade. So on a scale of 1 to 10, what would I rate this? I'm going to give it an 8. And the reason why it's going to get an 8 is because I don't like the shade. I don't like the undertone. And that's another thing. They don't have a ton of shades. There are only 16 shades available in this. So I feel like there definitely should be more. But outside of that, I love the way that this wears. I love how it looks on the skin. Also, um, earlier I said that this retails for $60. It actually retails for $58. Yeah, I I know that's not a big difference but i know it would be somebody in the comment section feeling like they need to correct me but anyway y'all that is it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and most importantly don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see y'all later bye